Top 10 Leadership Qualities of Great People I'm sure all of you think that the great leaders and top businessmen have something special, don't you? That's why they are special and extraordinary. But what makes them special and extraordinary? Well, why don't we explore it in detail? Number 1. Great Leaders are Great Visionaries One of the great qualities of any great leader is that they're great visionaries. If you take any big names like John F. Kennedy, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, well, they're all great visionaries. That's why they're considered leaders for time immemorial. Why don't we take a look at who a visionary is? Well, to put it simply, a visionary is someone who can envision the future in a creative and imaginative way. A visionary leader is an individual who sees the potential in how the world should exist and then takes all the steps they can to get there. A true leader is a great visionary with a strategic plan. They consider all their personal as precious resources to add more value to the organization. They are excellent role models and strong coaches, leading others by example and by demonstrating how things need to be done. When you think about visionary leadership, you may think of someone like George Washington who led a war against the British to establish a new nation. But you might also think of Mahatma Gandhi who revolted against the British but in a very different, non-violent way. Both men saw that a new vision of governing was possible and set out to achieve it. And they did. The next great leadership quality of a top leader is confidence. Number two, confidence. Do you have any idea how important confidence is in a leader? Well, confidence gives a person courage, gives them calmness, and makes them self-assured. Confidence also makes them genuine and trustworthy. That is the great power of confidence. I'm sure you get it, don't you? So, a self-confident, trustworthy, and courageous person is a strong intellectual who is great with their attitude, approach, communication, and facing risks without any fear. Such a confident leader takes bold and dynamic decisions depending upon the need and requirements of the situation. When a confident leader assesses the situation critically and quickly and takes on-the-spot decision, they have a great influence on their followers and workforce. They also enjoy great respect from them. But, do you know that if the leader is confident, their confidence has a great cascading effect on their entire team as well? How amazing is that? To maintain the team morale and higher productivity, a confident leader instills confidence in their followers. A pragmatic leadership of staying calm and confident keeps the workforce feeling the same, to work better, and to become more productive. Remember, your team is watching you carefully and they also take cues from your actions. So, the way you lead really matters for you and your workforce. All right, let's move on to the third great leadership quality of a leader, which is to inspire. Number three. Inspiration Do you know inspiration has a magical spell on your followers? Yes, it does. Ordinary people who do extraordinary things are a great inspiration for themselves and also to others. To be called a leader, you must inspire your team through your actions and words for a common vision. 
Inspiring your team raises your employees' spirit really high. A great leader is fueled by their own internal drive and passion. They love whatever they do. They always push themselves to do things in a bigger, better, and greater way. They constantly motivate their people by their pleasing words and benevolent actions. Truly inspiring leaders can find the bright side of any issue. They know that doom and gloom accomplish absolutely nothing. So, they remain beacons of positivity in the face of challenges and failures. Of course, problems happen and troubleshooting is inevitable. But, if you want to be truly inspirational, show others the silver lining. One of the ways of bringing in hope and enlightenment to your workforce is positivity. Successful people always maintain a positive outlook for better performance. Positive management and open-mindedness help get valuable feedback from your team and keep your employees' energy levels up. Spreading positivity isn't really a hard thing to do. There are a few easy ways you can spread positivity and lift the energy of the people around you. Practicing pleasantries like saying a cheerful, good morning, or good job done. And even a simple smile can go a really long way. So is appreciating someone's efforts by saying simple words like, I really appreciate it, or a kind thank you will do great wonders of productivity. And here's another super simple idea to inspire your team. Do you know that green plants improve job satisfaction and raise productivity? There are offices where there are several plants which the employees grow carefully together as a team. So why not take the initiative and encourage your team to bring in some plants to keep near them? All right, let's move on to the next great leadership quality of a top leader. Empowerment. Number four, empowerment. Do you know why empowerment is important in a great leader? Empowering is giving authority to your subordinates and bringing energy and enthusiasm out of them. So, the first step in empowering someone is to hold yourself back from doing anything that reduces their energy and enthusiasm for what they are doing. There are things you can do every single day to empower people and make them feel good about themselves. Listening to people patiently, praising them with powerful and motivating words, trusting them and believing in their potential are certain ways you can build their confidence up and empower them. Show them how they can grow and become better with every passing day. Only trust can build trust in return. A strong leader reposes faith in their personal to build a trustworthy high-performance team by delegating responsibility and authority. The next great leadership quality of a top leader is decisiveness or the decision-making ability. Number five, decision-making. To empower the subordinates, the team leader should be a dynamic decision-maker. During any critical situation, your team will look to you for guidance. Having critical thinking skills allows you to ascertain the problem and come up with a pragmatic solution needed for the situation warranted. A dynamic leader is a quick decision maker to make judicious decisions on the spot depending upon the need and situation. The best leaders are the ones who make the best decisions. According to a recent study published in Harvard Business Review, one of the four things that sets successful CEOs apart is the ability to make decisions with speed and conviction. Dynamic decisions taken at the right time prevent conflict, saves a lot of time, and increases productivity. 
it brings a great respect for you from your subordinates. Let's move on to the next leadership quality which makes you a great leader. Number six, communication. When you communicate with others, you usually focus on what you should be saying. But effective communication is less about talking and more about listening. Listening well doesn't just mean understanding the words or the information which is being said, but also understanding the emotions which the speaker is trying to convey. There is a huge difference between listening to someone in an engaged manner and simply just hearing what they're saying. When you really listen, when you're engaged with what's being said and how the person is saying it, you'll hear what the person is feeling and the emotions they're trying to communicate. When you become an engaged listener, you don't only understand the other person better, but you'll also make that person feel heard and understood, which can help build a stronger and deeper connection between the two of you. And when you do communicate with people, what you want to accomplish may be clear in your head, but it will be clear to your personal only if you communicate to them in a clear and concise way. A productive leader is a great communicator who gives clear instructions from time to time without any communication gap. Why don't we move on to the next great leadership quality of a top leader, which is sense of humor. Number 7. Sense of Humor Humor lightens up the mood for you and your subordinates. It puts people at ease and cuts down on the intimidation factor that powerful leaders face with employees or customers. Humor brings team together with good spirit. When a team laughs and has fun together, it brings a sense of cohesive community and helps to create a rich corporate culture. When there is humor, the atmosphere is lightened and more relaxed. Your happy hormones are released and you can calmly deal with a stressful situation. To start with humor in a tense discussion can often diffuse anger and conflict and start negotiations off on a positive note. This helps everyone involved think in a rational and clear way. People listen and understand better when leaders communicate in an entertaining way. And so, a successful leader has a good sense of humor. The next great leadership quality of a top leader is approach. Number 8. Approach One of the very important factors that is very crucial for a great leadership is approach. Let me tell you why and how. No two human beings are the same. Don't you agree? What works for one may not really go well with another, right? So, what should a leader do? Well, an intelligent leader must be sensitive and dynamic to understand this factor and customize his approach on a person-by-person -person basis, depending upon the situation. They must be emotionally intelligent and self-driven. If you want to know more about the importance of emotional intelligence, watch our video on emotional intelligence. It is linked to this video at the end. Leaders typically are either task-oriented or relationship-oriented. Task-oriented leaders focus more on the task in accomplishing organizational goals. Relationship-oriented leaders focus on creating positive interactions with followers and establishing positive relationships based on mutual trust, respect, and confidence. A great leader should be assertive, but at the same time should be alert, adaptable, and adjustable to the new situation that has arisen now. They must have the emotional balance and must be tolerant to stress that comes across every now and then. A great leader is enthusiastic and keeps the enthusiasm of their team intact. A dynamic leader plays the role of delegating, supporting, coaching, and directing the followers. Some workforce know the job well, so in such cases, just delegating it is enough. But some workforce know the job, 
but not too well. In such cases, the leader has to give their supportive guidance. Some workforce don't know the task at all. In such cases, the leader has to give proper coaching and directions. The next great leadership quality of a top leader is focus. Number nine, focus. A Harvard Business Review study says that the primary task of leadership is to direct attention. To do so, leaders must learn to focus their own attention. When we speak about being focused, we commonly mean thinking about one thing while filtering out distractions. And focus has three dimensions, which are focusing on yourself, focusing on others, and focusing on the wider world. Focusing inwards and focusing constructively on others helps leaders cultivate the primary elements of emotional intelligence. A fuller understanding of how they focus on the wider world can improve their ability to devise strategy, innovate, and manage organizations. The all-time great boxer Muhammad Ali had only one focus on his mind, and that was to win the game. Leaders need triple focus. A smart leader focuses on the strengths in themselves and in others. Their focus is on the end result. Their concentration is on what must be achieved by them and others towards achieving excellent performance for their organization. Number 10. Humanity the last but the greatest leadership quality of a top leader is being humane. Do you know humane leadership is going to be the next trendsetter in leadership for an effective human resources management and better productivity? The Forbes magazine states that humane leadership must be the fourth industrial revolution's real innovation. If you analyze the data, it shows that only 13% of the workforce is passionate about their work despite the plethora of techniques and resources spent on learning and development and research and development. What a shocking revelation! What a shocking revelation! Global figures show that 80% of employees are less than fully engaged at work. What a pity! But that is the hard reality. Anyway, Recognizing value of others and showing empathy for your workforce will gain you respect and admiration from them. Those who keep good human relationships are happier, healthier, and successful. I hope you enjoyed the video fully. Why don't we have a quick recap of what we discussed so far in a nutshell? Do you remember what the main points we discussed so far are? These are the top 10 qualities of a great leader. Number one, being a visionary. Number two, having confidence. Number three, being a source of inspiration. Number four, empowering others. Number five, having great communication skills. Number six, being decisive. Number seven, having a good sense of humor. Number eight, approach. Number nine, their focus. And number 10, being humane. How did you like this video? Please put your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned to your ITV Life Skills for the next video on leadership, the 7 C's for great leadership.